Hello everyone, this is Shonko and in this video I'm going to talk about how we can validate uh, the request data that we get. So if we have a post method or a put method uh, for which we have a request body, we might want to validate the data that we get uh, in a Spring API as a request. So let's get started by creating a new project. And I'll call it student service and uh, artifact ID is fine. Let's call it student service. I'm gonna click on next. I'm gonna select web and I'm gonna select dev tools. I'm gonna click, click on finish. Okay, first I'm gonna create uh, the model class for student or the POJO class for student. And, uh, I'm going to create a new class and call it student. And put it inside form.student.model package. Click on finish. So let's have an ID for the student. So let's say private int id or rather roll number. So roll number. And then let's have a name for the student. So private string name. Oh, sorry, private string name and uh, Let's provide getters and setters. You can select all. Click OK. All right. So let's let's have a constraint for roll number. Roll number cannot be null. So let's say not null, and let's say message. Equals roll number cannot be null. And let's have the same constraint for name. So let's say name cannot be null. Sorry, name cannot be null. And uh, let's say min value equals to one. And message equals roll number cannot be smaller than one and let's say max let's put the value equals to 100 and let's put the message equals to roll number cannot be greater than 100 Alright, now let's create uh, the controller. I'm going to create a simple controller and uh, I'm going to say student controller. I'm going to put it inside com.student.controller. 
package. So I'm going to mount this as rest controller. Let's request mapping. I'm going to say slash API slash v1 slash student. I'm going to have a post mapping. So I'm going to say at the rate post post mapping. say produces equals application slash JSON then I'm gonna say public student say add student so we might be trying to add a student to database in this uh, particular method So here I'm going to say at the rate valid. So this is going to validate the request body. And I'm going to say request body. And I'm going to put student. Student. Then I'm going to say add student to database and then I'm going to return the student so I'm going to say return student I'm going to open application.properties file I'm going to set the server dot port as say 8181 save it then I'm gonna run it as Spring Boot app okay so let's hit this API uh, let's hit this uh, URL and uh, we're gonna send a post request and we're gonna have this as a body for the request let's hit send Okay, the URL is incorrect. Should have a slash here. Okay, so we get back the student object that we had passed. Now let's do one thing. Let's set the roll number as zero. And click on send. So we get an error this time. And we have these error codes and uh, here we can see we have the default message saying whole number cannot be smaller than one and we can send our custom error response which I've already uh, shown in another video how we can do how we can send our custom error response so if you're uh, not familiar with how we can send our custom error response I uh, recommend you to watch that video I put, in, I put the link in the description below Okay, so this way we can validate uh, the data that we get as request body and uh, send an error response if the data is not valid. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.